Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. I'll explain Django model forms uh, in this video. So let's uh, jump to my screen and uh, this is sample Django application that I'm using uh, in a series of posts uh, about Django and how to create uh, CRUD applications uh, with Django, HTMX and uh, Tailwind. So I can select any record, for example, this one, last one for the Steven and we get a form rendered uh, for Steven record with um, different data, with different attributes. <laughs> you can go and uh, change the values, uh, save them, and changed values will be submitted through HTMX uh, partial request to the Django backend, uh, stored data in a database, and so on. <clears throat> and the topic of this post is uh, model form. There are multiple ways how you could uh, uh, display or render uh, forms with Django, but uh, to me, uh, the easiest and the most natural way uh, in case if um, uh, form is based on database structure, database table, is to use Django model form. Because model form is based on Django model and it inherits all the uh, attributes or constraints that were defined in the model and uh, you can go along and use it uh, this model in a model form and uh, render the form on top of it. So let's go and um, uh, check the, the, the source code. So first of all, I should say that uh, uh, I'm using uh, 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 widget tweaks uh, and Django widget tweaks and uh, this uh, library helps to uh, render form uh, on top of Django in HTML in, in, the, in a bit easier in, in, in simpler way. So if you double check edit form HTMX, we can see over here at top, uh, on the top that uh, we are uh, loading uh, widget tweaks and then every uh, form element or item is being rendered uh, through the widget tweaks. So this is the uh, Django <coughs> expression inside HTML and we are using a render field. Render field comes from the uh, widget tweaks and here we refer to the form dot first name <coughs> form is uh, actually a context variable that we included into uh, Django view and return back with the response. And from the form we have access to all of the elements like uh, first name, phone number and so on. Then we have a placeholder also and what is great about um, uh, widget tweaks, this help library to render uh, form UI in Django is that uh, you can pass um, standard classes, for example, or, or any other HTML attributes through the render field. Like in this example, we are passing class and we are passing all this long list of uh, uh, Tailwind classes that um, help, uh, help us to render nice uh, form UI. So it's like you would render uh, regular HTML input field, but in this case, it's a field that is attached to the uh, Django model form element, like a first name, phone number, uh, salary, and so on. <clears throat> and the great thing is that all the properties that you have defined on the model or in model form will be automatically inherited through this uh, render field um, expression and uh, proper HTML UI structure will be rendered. Okay, so that's about HTML, and if you go to the views, and I have employee edit view, this view is responsible to render uh, editable form, and we get uh, post uh, method is uh, overridden here, and <clears throat> when we select entry from the table, we get a primary key, and this primary key comes to the post method, and f using the primary key, we extract the employee model, in this line and then we initiate employee form and employee form is uh, initiated uh, like that just by uh, passing instance of uh, employee model and then we get a form and then as, as soon as we have a form out of the box functionality is that we could run validation we could check if form is valid this means Django will check automatically all the fields and uh, all the validations if uh, there'll be some issues with the validation, we will get uh, form is not valid and we could report uh, back errors to the UI. 
If it's valid, then we proceed uh, along and we execute, for example, a form save. This will ensure that all the changed attributes will be saved to database and uh, we get back the response to the UI. Okay, so now if you look uh, into the form itself, uh, this is the employee form. It extends from Django Forms model form, <clears throat> and uh, there's an area, there's a place where you could define metadata for the form. This this one, and over here we specify uh, <clears throat> uh, Django model that we have defined. We we attach our model form to that model, right? And then we list all the fields that we want to be included in the form. And uh, there is such thing like widgets. So if, like in this example, we have uh, attribute uh, of a date type, like a higher date, so what we can do is uh, define a widget and uh, define date input. Then uh, we can specify that this uh, date input is of type date, and uh, later when we will render on UI uh, this uh, higher date, it will be rendered as automatically with the date picker, so we don't need to do anything extra on HTML site on UI. And another very important thing is validation. We can define validation methods in the model form. And uh, validation method uh, naming uh, must uh, follow certain practice. It must, be, it must start with word, word clean, underscore, and then attribute name. And then Django <clears throat> will execute those methods uh, for each for all the attributes automatically. So if email will be changed or salary will be changed, in this case, then uh, method will be invoked and new value will be checked against any rules. And in this case, we are uh, checking salary to be in range between minimum and maximum. And we are getting minimum and maximum through foreign key relationship from another table from jobs. And uh, we're checking if the new value falls into the correct range. If it doesn't fall, then we return back the uh, validation error. And uh, we say that uh, salary value must be in range minimum maximum and uh, user will be notified on UI. Okay, so my point of this uh, video to introduce uh, model forms in Django and uh, uh, show you with a quick and simple example how easy it is to use uh, Django model forms, how useful it is to uh, implement uh, functionality to render uh, UI forms, and also uh, the fact that you get validation uh, out of the box, plus you can uh, include your own custom methods to run validation for, uh, for, for the attributes that are included in the model form. And if validation is successful, get uh, uh, safe functionality out of the box, which would uh, save all the stuff to the database. So I would recommend if you are building uh, Django forms on top of the database structure, on top of Django models, then use model form where you could define um, the elements that you would display on UI, plus uh, you could define all the validations in a single place for that form. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. See you next time. Bye.